What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels. I got that October monthly energy read for the sign of Aquarius. All placements, so guys, keep in mind it's a general message. Cannot resonate with everyone. Take what's where you leave the rest behind. In any event, show your girl some support. Like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. If you're on the social media platforms, go ahead and follow me over there. If you're looking for a personal, go ahead and book with us on mnmenergy.com. Home of other jewelry and other spiritual healing journey products that can assist you right now. We do have our jewelry line that's out and we have our bath soak, our energy healing bath soak, which is handcrafted, divine to help alleviate any stress, especially on the body and the mind, help clear off any negative energy and uplift you in the same breath. So guys... Aquarius, I just heard new attitude for you guys. Um, makeover. A lot of you guys want to make over your look. Very different vibe and energy to pick up. But um, a lot of you guys are just ready to change some things up. Whether it's your actual look or like, you know, the pictures on your wall, the paint on your wall. You're just ready for something new, okay? You got a new attitude, okay? So... As you can see, I am shuffling only two decks on screen for the sake of time. Everything else has already been pre-shuffled. All right, look at that. That Empress sitting there, that beautiful energy, harmonious Gemini, making decisions here to, like I said, sit in the Empress spotlight, okay? You are becoming very fertile with ideas. You're just ready, like I said, for something new in your life. You're ready to tra transform as I look up and see that Scorpio energy there, that death energy. But you're ready to change. Change up something in your life. Something has to change. Tired of the same old, same old. So, your affirmation for the month is friendliness. Whenever I smile, I make someone's day better. What a cool way to buy happiness for free. Today, I remember what an awesome power I hold. And I'll take joy in improving life simply by giving away grins like crazy. No, in a pinch, money will also work. But yeah, like, you're just ready for something new. New faces, you know, a new attitude, new changes within yourself. I feel like this new look will also attract in new energies around you. Okay, communication underneath here. Getting out and just, you know, talking to folks. Networking. Um, as I'm saying, you know, networking and talking to folks, I'm hearing renovations. You want to do some home renovations, some of you guys. But, you know, this is just like trying to do pretty much a renovation of like your life and, you know, the things that are around you, how you feel, how you look, what your surroundings look like. OK, you want to be able to like walk into like a bright yellow kitchen with sunflowers painted on the wall. You know, it's stuff like that. Like you're just ready for a change. OK. You got blue calcite. What it is, it's a dream, dreamy, calming blue calcite. It's the fresh from the meditation retreat. Vision board making hippie of the calcite family. Who needs it? People who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at 3 a.m. Where to put it on your bedside. When to use it. When stress is the enemy. Freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines aren't death sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calming, focused energy of blue calcite to remind you to put stress in its place, far away from the joy of process and delight of dreaming big. In other words, act on your dreams. Okay, let me give you another pretty, pretty image there. Pretty crystal. Yep, and speak from your heart. So that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of communicating, needing to speak up, you know, especially if you live with folks, you know, maybe you just want to. You want somebody else to change their appearance. Maybe, you know, everybody need to go on a diet or we all going to change how we eat in this house or we all going to clean up. You know, we all going to do some fall cleaning. You know, they're like, what is that? Getting ready for the winter, getting ready to hibernate. You know, you just have this, you know, this energy about you where you want to make these changes. You want things to change. OK, don't be afraid. You know, speak up. I'm sure there are people who want to see these changes, too. There are folks around you who want to be down with this. You know, um, who want to help. You just need to speak up and you will receive the help that you need to make these dreams come true. Honestly, 
main energy. Yeah, your passion is ignited, guys, okay? Like I said, you, you want something new. want to be starting something. MJ vibes, okay? What you know about this is patience and planning. You've been patiently planning this. You've been investing in this. This is something that you want to invest in. Um, you've prayed, you meditated over it, you waited on it, and like it's now like the light has shined. It's the season, it's time. It's time to set these plans in motion. What the universe is trying to show you is yes, it's time to set these plans in motion. Okay, you are connected with the divine. They are connected, they hear you, they heard you, okay, and they're here to assist and help. Two sevens here, divine timing is at play. How we get here from the past. Sitting in the shadows, sitting in the dark, 18, breaking down to a nine, self-journey, facing the person in the mirror, looking in the mirror, realizing that you wanted to change some things, okay? Um, you were tired of living in the dark, tired of, you know, probably dark colored walls, probably looking dingy, your damn self. You know, you just wanted a burst of excitement and brightness in your life. So you, you opt for this change. I do feel at one point you were afraid of change, but it's just like, look, you can't stay stuck in this energy forever. You can't stay this way. And, you know, expect different results, you know, doing the same thing and expecting different results. I believe that's Albert Einstein. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, you know, that's in, that's insanity right there, right? So you know that now you need to change your perspective. And it's time to get going. All those things that you've been planning and, you know, all the things you've been jotting down, you know, because blue, you know, communicating, you know, air sign. I'm picking up the whole airy vibe, communicating, writing, things of that nature. But you you had all these things written down, all these plans ready to go. And it's like you were afraid to do them. But it's like now you, you're facing the man in the mirror and realizing like, hey, it's time for me to bring these things out. It's time for me to get out of the shadow period that I'm in. It's time for these changes to take place. And where are we going? Working with people. Like I said, speak up. People will work with you. Partnerships and alliances. People are going to come in and they're going to help if you need the help here. Okay, like it says, speak from your heart. Tell people what's going on. Heart chakra here. Material harvest because it is there. It's possible. You've been patiently planning this, okay? It's time to reap what you have sown. So, let's clarify up your energy here. Take that leap of faith. Aries energy here. That moon was Pisces, okay? Also, um... Not a lot of Pisces. I really pick up heavy, heavy on the Pisces energy there for me. A little bit of cancer. But let's see. This passion is ignited, okay? That is the main energy now, is that you're ready to do what it's time to do, okay? Passion is ignited, yep. Things from your past have finally, like, come back to the surface, and you're ready to do them and be victorious here. It's time to bring about balance. You're done over the burdens. You've ended all, all the burdens in your life. You're ready for something stable and victorious here, something very balanced here. Something of the past got you going. You know, maybe you started looking at your situation in the past and how you were living in the past and realized that you wanted something more victorious and more harmonious for yourself, something more balanced. So, boom, passion is ignited. You end out all those burdens, it's time to get moving here. You've been patiently planning, okay? You've been sitting in the dark. We know that in the past, okay? But you've been patiently planning, and you know that. You have all the steps lined up in order for this to take place. Especially, I'm being really highlighted to the fall scene in this card here where the leaves are ruffling up. I feel like your feathers have been ruffled enough for you to finally get moving on this, Okay? Double confirmation, this is Seven of Pentacles as well, but I feel like, you know, you've been pl patiently planning, you know, some things you saw wasn't going to work, but you did not give up. You continue to invest and continue to plan and sat around and was patient in regards to whatever this new beginning is that you want. Because again, you know that it was going to be successful. Another seven, divine timing is truly at play here in your life. You also could have been working on it since cancer season or the month of July, okay? Or could have been wanting to do a change within yourself for like the past seven months or the past seven years. And you're finally just like, you know, what? I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take the sleep of faith. I'm going to jump out here. I'm going to do it. You got this crown chakra here from the universe. Them letting you know that we're here. We heard you. You're connected to us. Okay. Yes. All right. No need to worry. Okay. What, what are you worried about? Why are we worried here? You need to move forward. Continue to move forward. You have a very correct plan here. You know, you need to cut out all these lies and start allowing yourself to be stuck in this mental conflict here. Get out of the mental conflicts that you're imposing on yourself, okay? 
they've heard you. They've heard your cries. They heard your prayers. They've watched you do your work. And they're letting you know that there is really essentially no need to stress anymore. Okay? You are moving in the right direction. You don't need to stress anymore. Okay? Yes, you are moving in the right direction towards and I'm a part of it. Truly moving. They're, they're really here. Okay? But you're really going towards your happiness. Okay? You're moving in the right direction. Do not stop moving. Stop going back and forth with yourself. That is giving you the stress here. Stop going back and forth here. Okay? With the shadow energy here, this moon energy, this is what got us here from the past. You know, I'm hearing, you know, dark night of the souls, doing the shadow work, okay? Doing the work on yourself, seeing where you were falling short of being your higher self, okay? And now you are starting to become illuminated, all right? You are realizing that you need to shine. Again, you know, sitting up late at night, Thinking and thinking and thinking, looking, staring at the moon, using that moon energy to harvest what it is that you needed to harvest, okay, what you were trying to manifest. Yeah, lots of worry. You were sitting in the past really, really worried here about your stability, but it's like that shit came crumbling down. So some of you guys could have had something that you thought was stable in the past that finally came crumbling down. Scorpio... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here, but it came crumbling down because you had a new opportunity coming in, okay? You had something that was more fulfilling here, honestly, which now ignites your passion, okay? So a past dynamic, a past home situation, past feeling dynamic, or just the way your home was looking like in the past, that's what I'm saying for a lot of you guys, I was hearing home renovations. Um, some of you guys could have, and I'm sorry to say this, could have probably even had like a house fire or even a small fire, you know, and it it could have now given you the chance to, you know, say if you had a small fire in your kitchen, but it damaged, it did enough damage in the kitchen. You now have the opportunity to go towards the kitchen that you love, okay? Because insurance is paying out or whatever it may be. But, or you have like a contractor or somebody who can come in and work with you and help you accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. But I do feel that, you know, something did happen here in the past, you know, to your stability, to something that you thought was stable. It shook you up. Shook you up quite a bit. Definitely Aries energy. But something that made you have to start over new here and go towards something that is emotionally fulfilling to you. Okay? You fell in love. You could have also been in love with whatever came crumbling down. And I could have put you in a really fearing space. Could have put you in a dark night of the soul. Could have allowed you to have to do some shadow work here so that you could begin to plan your next moves. Okay? But whatever it was, it did cause you to want to start a new journey here it, it started it, it ignited the passion it made you want to change something in your life whether it be you or your actual surroundings here okay because you end up in a lack situation in the past okay but moving forward you have partnerships and alliances you have people coming in to help you you have newness coming into to you like just new options new things and it's time for you with this leo energy to grab life by the balls and ride sadly ride okay um, take that hand that's reaching out for you. It's a very helpful hand, okay? Um, it's here to help. Seriously, it's here to help. Okay, with well, all these heads sitting here on this great beast she's riding in on, like, they're here to help. You have lots of support backing you here, especially from the universe. Mm. You sure do. They're holding you up, baby. They are holding you up. I'm like really keying in on the images of the spirits that are that is holding up this woman and this beast with all these heads. So you are being very much supported. You just have to reach out and take the help that is coming in and ask for the help that you need here. OK, there is no murkiness here. Remember, you also have some options. OK, you have options. And remember, all of them aren't viable, but there will be. Three good people who will come into your life, at least three good people who will come into your life that will be able to help you in this situation, okay? Yeah, especially as I'm saying, Leo, that's a three-letter word. But you, you seriously do. You will, you will be presented with a lot of options. All of them won't be viable. But understand that you will have at least three good options out of this situation here. Yeah. You definitely will. Okay, you just use your discernment, okay? Either way, I do see where you guys are going to be successful here. 
You're going to be successful in whatever it is that you are trying to do. The changes that you are trying to make. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Just keep planning. Just keep your eyes open. I mean, hey, get you some of that blue calcite there, okay? Because you're up at 3 a.m. You're wondering. You're planning. You're plotting, okay? So, yeah. Spirit, what's the message here for Aquarius to close out their read? What is the lesson? We thank you. All right, perseverance. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep working here. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And you sure as hell can, Aquarius. You just got to keep pushing. You've been planning and putting in the work. If it don't succeed, you try, try again. Like I said, you're going to have these options. All of them are invaluable, but you don't give up. You keep investing. You keep planning. You reach out. You speak to people. You keep that smile on your face, okay? Communicate. Remember what's in your heart. Remember what you want. Because this is what's igniting your passion here. You got to keep keep your focus on your focus. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. If it don't work out, don't beat yourself up. Just see that it didn't work out for a reason and you move on to the next. Okay? Like I said, you got options. There isn't only one way for you to go about this change in your life. Okay? You have options to make it happen. Step out of your comfort zone underneath the deck here. We'll close out with this moonology. Spirit, we thank you. It's the message for Aquarius. Underneath the deck, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. Okay. Full moon's coming up. We got two this month, guys, but don't let pride get in your way, okay? Work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio, which the new moon essentially will be taking place roughly around Scorpio season. So work through your fears this month, okay? Be bold and make the first move. Reach out to people. People who don't know you need help until you open your mouth and you say that, okay? Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Gemini, okay? Especially around this new moon, guys. Emotional emotions are running high. Again, that's that empathy. Understand. Don't get yourself too caught up. If it don't work out, try, try again. There's another option. You are not out of debt in, in your situation here. It's the time to give rather than take. So, like I said, you'll keep giving into this situation, but something will come out of it, okay? Meditate and contemplate. That was new moon in Virgo. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. New moon, new moon, new moon, new moon, new moon, new moon. Okay, set those intentions. Because at the end of the day, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. And guess what? We have a full moon coming up at the top of this month, guys. And it is in Libra season. So, either way, you're winning. Okay? You just don't give up. So, yeah, guys, that has been your message. I know you know what to do with this. And again, if you need a personal tailor to your own needs... Go ahead and book one down below at mmenergy.com. And until the next time, guys, peace out.